Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about this problem, the square root of 40 plus the square root of 90. Now here's the question. Can you calculate it right? So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here again is the problem, the square root of 40 plus the square root of 90. Now, if you're thinking that this one is so easy, yes, but the answer is not the square root of 130. So let me give you an idea. What is the rule on how to add or subtract radicals? We can add or subtract radicals if they're indices and radicands are the same. So let's say I have the square root of or the cube root of 5. Let me give you the parts of a radical. Here, the number outside the radical sign is your index, while the number inside the radical sign is the radicand. Now basically, the rules are simple. If they had the same index or indices and radicands, we can easily combine or add the two radicals. In this case, kasi guys, we have the square root of 40 plus the square root of 90. As you can see, we don't have radicals, here, radic indices here, but don't be confused or don't be deceived because we have here an inv invisible 2. And as you can see, they have the same indices. The main problem here is that we have 40 and 90 as your radicand and they are different. So how are we going to add them? To add them, guys, what we need to do is to think of factors of 40 and think of factors of 90. And in other words, we need to simplify it first to see if we can add them at the end. So what are the factors of 40 in which one of them is a perfect square? Okay, very good. We can factor it out as the square root of 4 times 10. The other radical can be factored out as the square root of 9 times 10. And we have a property on how to simplify radicals wherein we can separate them using two radicals. This is square root of 4 times 10 can be written as the square root of 4 times the square root of 10 plus also this one square root of 9 times the square root of 10. As you can see guys, this part and this part are both perfect squares. We can simplify this. Square root of 4 is 2. Since 10 is not a perfect square, we can simply copy the square root of 10. Plus, this part, 9 is also a perfect square, so we can extract its square root. And this is 3. The square root of 9 is 3, and copy the square root of 10. Now look at this problem. Earlier, they have the same indices but different radicands and now look at the radicals. We have the same index or indices and we have the same radicands. Now we can add them. Here what we need to do is to add the coefficients outside the radicals. We have 2 plus 3 that is equal to 5 and since they have the same radical in general, we can simply copy them and write the square root of 10. As you can see, this is the answer in this given problem. We have 5 times the square root of 10 or 5 square root of 10. Now, as part of our routine, let me give you a problem for you to practice on. I want you to answer 
the square root of 8 plus the square root of 32. Let me see in our comment section below if you can answer and apply what you have learned from this video. So guys, I hope you learned something from this video and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me teacher Goen. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!